Yeah. <laughs> What's the word, man? We back again with the live podcast in the business. Go tell a friend. Come right back and tune your ass in because we finna get it in. Today, I got a very, very unique guest in the building. Yeah, you see, we playing on word. You know what I'm saying? What I'm playing, you feel me? I'm not rapping, but I'm a rhymer, kid. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But no, no, man, we got motherfucking the one, the only, the code of unique in the building the code today. Unique. Come on, man. I told y'all. I told y'all Princess a lot of Princess Lamb, Princess Lamb. Come on, man. Yeah. What we gonna do? I told y'all we was gonna come to the A and get the best. We ain't coming for little shit. We ain't coming for bullshit. I'm gonna put y'all on to somebody that y'all need to know for shit, show. Sure. Sleeping on cloud of shit. Lend in my pocket. Stop with them niggas who stayed in the park. Stay right solid. I bring it up and go get me a bag. Bitch, I got options. <laughs> How you doing today? Good. I'm doing fine. And this See, is my you, got your, you got your wood in your hand, everything. You, you feel me? That's y'all call it, right? That's yeah, wood, right? wood. Look, okay. you see how mm-hmm. she coming at the cannabis community right I'm now? I'm catching on. She talking about I'm catching on. Mm-hmm. I see, like, before the camera start rolling, yo, I tried to ask her, like, why you don't smoke weed? She like, I don't fuck with that shit. I tried it before. Ain't for me. It ain't for me. I can eat that shit. Mm-hmm. I can too paranoid. She said, no, she said she will drink, you know what I'm saying? So, fellas, if y'all see her out in the club. I'll pat Ryan, I'm going to be like this. You th- you heard her choice of drink, right here, you know I'm what like, I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to pat Ryan. Stop playing. So, if y'all see her in the club, y'all make sure y'all buy her a drink, you know what I'm saying? Send a bottle to her section. You know what I'm saying? Take care of her, you know what I'm saying? Make sure the lady drinking good. You Please. feel me? And tell them again, my, my what pat you drinking? Ryan. Pat Ryan. Stop playing. That's Patron, with y'all. They let her know that, man. Let her go so. to the bar and say, let me get so. some Pat Ron. They'll still so. get it. They'll still be able to I get it. I hope so. <laughs> but no, I know this is your first time being on the platform, and I got to get the origin story. That's what we got to do over here. We got to get an origin story. We got to let the people know who you are, where you from, and what it was, what it was like for you growing up. Well, I'm Dakota Unique. Um, I'm from East Chicago, Indiana. She had grown up, it was just like, you know, a typical small town, like, hood, street, town, fighting, whatever you want to call it. Um, and shit, for me, I just got the way. No. I was just gonna say, now, did you ever get caught up in any of that, like, the, yeah, nah, the street stuff, I wish I the beats, and anything mm-hmm. like that? <laughs> you got nothing to do with me. Well, so what was it like? Because, see, like, you're an interesting person that I want to get your side of things out to the streets because, see, a lot of people, they know the narrative of being the person that's either the bully or getting bullied, but nobody ever hears the narrative of the person that knew how to stay their ass out the way and go, you know what I'm saying, and be able to make it. Like, what was it like for you to be able to avoid situations by learning from? Sure, I got a lot of uncles, so it'd be easy for me to get out of the way. Because if somebody fucked with me, then they're going to have to deal with them. Uncles put motherfuckers in headlocks sure, so and shit. I'm going to tell y'all right now, playing. I got three uncles, and two cousins that don't play no game. That's what's up. That's but good to have protectors. My bad. But she is staying out the way. Like, it's just like you said. Like, it's, it's easy to stay out the way. Shit, don't get on no shit. Don't try to. But, well, I'm sure it's easier too when people know that you got a few uncles and shit that'll rough their ass up if they play crazy. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Now, let's talk about school. Like, were you one of those students that was straight A? Were you the popular kid? Were you Definitely athletic? was the popular kid. A, I won homecoming queen. A. Okay, then. Stand up. Still Why high com- school? Still don't come to this day, East and Central. East and Central. Y'all know what it is. We got the prom queen in the building tonight. Stop playing with her. Still standing on that. Still standing on that. How many years ago was that? I'm gonna say that. <laughs> All right, but just know she's still the prom queen. She that. don't care don't who care won much. this year, last year. I'm she still don't young care. though. I'm young for sure, but. How, so how young are you? You know, I know it's on, not what you're supposed to do <laughs> with that. a lady. You're never no, supposed to ask though. a lady your age. I'm 23. You're 23. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. So I'm you're fresh. still fresh. You know what I'm saying in I'm the game. You know what I'm saying. I'm fresh. <laughs> no. Did, were you uh, athletic or anything? Did you yeah. play any sports? I ran track. I hooped a little bit. Um, but no, see, I, the way you flipped that hand on that little bit. You know, I got, I got oh, girly, so no. Okay, well, I was going to say, was the game not all the way there? Or yeah. what? what was it like? Was you scoring? What was you doing to him? Oh, uh, no. Mm-hmm. If I'm anybody at home watching this and you was on the team with her, 
please comment in the comments yeah, below and let us know a, what her game defense. was like. I know what was my purpose, the defense. You know, I was about the show. Okay, so you was a, a defensive player. Yeah, I don't okay. mind. At least you knew your role and you knew your strengths and shit like that. That's mm -hmm. good to know. That's probably Did why you got them. Hell nah. We're not talking Hell about Hell nah. You right now. We is. We having a conversation. We doing Did the you? interviewing. Did you? Me or her. I'm just saying. If y'all know you, y'all y'all let me know. Did you hoop? Nah, I wasn't. You, you play baseball or some shit, ain't it? No. <laughs> what you play? It ain't nothing wrong with baseball. I, ain't play, I played a little basketball. You play baseball, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. I ain't playing no baseball. Not Mike. I ain't playing no baseball. What you play? I played a little bit of basketball. You, know? you just said you ain't hoop. I, Cause I'm not a hooper. I'm it's not the land. best. I'm not good. I'm not good. I can admit that I wasn't good. You know what I'm saying? Land. I wasn't a hooper. I wasn't the one to hoop good. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't so getting you... picked on every team. You know what I'm okay. saying? So I, I gave that team so up. Your grades was good. They let you on the team. Yeah, we ain't say all that, but you know what I'm saying? I made it on the team. You wound up, went to the practice a little bit. I wasn't no scrub. No. Nah. You? Okay, no, you heard how the voice got higher on that, too? I wasn't no scrub. Yeah. Shit, I wasn't no scrub was out there. I was, my man's is in the back right now. Can you tell him, was I good or not? Damn, no. <laughs> no, <way. laughs> You see the look he already knew, like, damn, He's bro. Why you coming to me, bro? Why you gonna say me, bro? Right. So, but I said already, I wasn't good though. It's cool though. You said you want to scrub. We're not gonna flip this interview on me. We're not gonna flip Why this on me. Why you me like that? I'm just saying, I wasn't the best, but I wasn't the worst. Okay. It was other people on the team that was, you know what I'm saying, a little okay. bit shakier than me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It made me be able to hold my position on the team a little longer because they was gonna lose theirs for me. Because they had bad grades. You had a good That's grade, you stay on the team. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's but no, so like, what what was it like transitioning from EC to Atlanta? It was easy. Well, I was back and forth anyway, so it was easy. And I feel like EC is so small, like, anybody could be cool with us because we like, again, like most of us, we stay out the way, you know. But I feel like anybody can gravitate towards us. But it wasn't that hard at all. No, were you were you in like a click of friends it. and shit? You said what? Did you have like a click of friends? Y'all called each other something like a little, Man, like, little gang and shit? Oh, uh, you see, see? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, a little click of friends. Y'all ran with y'all a little little name and shit. And how long ago? How long ago we talking? But, you know, how many gangs you didn't have since high school? Nah, we not many. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> not grown me, you know. I got oh, friends okay, and you know. Close people with back then when I was younger, yeah. You want to shout some of your close people off back she home? Did. You see, we got Gina, she do waxes, facials, all that. We got Dre, 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 not playing, he do hair. We got um, Sierra, she do nails. Yeah, we got um, that's my circle, and then my best friend, Kelly. Don't leave nobody out because I don't want nobody yeah, to see this kids, interview and be like, how you forget to say me? Oh, you know what? Okay, we got, we got OG Say Baby, OG Squad, they rap. Shout out to my boy OG Zay, baby. Shout out to OG Squad. We got to get him on the building. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got to get him on the platform, OG Squad. We didn't already had OG Zay, baby, on the building. You know what I'm saying? In the building. I said on the building. Shit, it wasn't on him. He was in the building, man. Dang. <laughs> but if y'all haven't seen that interview, y'all make sure y'all go to our YouTube channel and see that, though. But they're my people, y'all. They're my people. Anybody else they playing it with me? I don't know. Now, I've seen. Well, I didn't see, I you heard see? through the grapevine that you were on a popular TV show before. Oh, uh, yeah, um, VH1 saying with Rick Ross, The Dream, and um, Lindy S. Word. Yeah, so, yeah. how did that opportunity even present itself for you? You know what? I don't even know. She, I ain't gonna let blessings just be, I be manifesting, and I ain't gonna let just shit just be coming to me for real, for real. I think, like, I knew some people at Power 92 and stuff, and, like, they told me about it. What city was Power 92 in? Um, shit. That's Chicago? Chicago, yeah. Yeah, Chicago. Chicago. Okay. Um, and they, yeah, they gave me, like, the IG to go to and stuff. I just applied and submitted my interviews and stuff, and shit, they called me. No. Like, now, what did you learn from going on that show? What did you oh, learn I learned from? a lot. I ain't gonna lie. I developed, I, like... 
I still um shout out to the dream. I still talk to him to this day. Um, and that's a cold songwriter, man, that's like highly slept on in my opinion. You know what I mean? The dream. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't feel like he get all the credit that he, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, at this point, he don't, he wrote so many songs for people, he don't even really need it. Man, so hits, you know what I'm saying? I wish people knew the hits Still that the dream day, put out, you know what I'm saying? Man, but, yeah, dream hard as fuck, but shout out to him. He, but he taught me, like, really, like, um, shit, just, just keep working, um, confidence, that's, that's the person that, I'll never forget, he told me, when they sent me home, he told me, like, um, he was like, I'm so, I'm so mad at you. I'm like, shit, like, you know what? But I'm young, so I'm like, shit. Why was it, now, why was he mad at you? Like, what was it, so what'd he you was do? Like, what you do? Don't, don't lie now, because I hope the dream see this. And if he see some cap in this answer, he reposted and ain't be no like, nah, that ain't what happened. Ain't no cap in my game. Now, we, uh, we had to record a song. Then they had our shit, like, back to back. We had to record a song and perform it the next day. And I didn't get a chance to record because, like, everybody had to get in and out, in and out. And I didn't get a chance. Like, they didn't let me record. Yeah, that ain't fair. Hell nah. But that's because you know, <laughs> young and shit. Like, I was young just wanted that and shit. But it's cool, though. But, um, shit, we had to perform a song the next day. And, like, I went to the uh, show or whatever. I'm performing a song that I'm just freaked out in my head, so it's probably bullshit. And uh, he's like, damn, like, I'm so mad at you. Like, you got so much potential, like, your energy, everything. Like, you just don't believe in yourself. He told me, like, you have to believe in you before I can. I believe in you, so I can't do nothing for you if you don't believe in yourself. That's bullshit. And I'm like, damn, like, he know I'm ready, but I didn't know I was ready back then. He seen potential in you too, and you yeah. wasn't taking yourself serious. Then you I mean, I want to. Come on, though, you're too scared to lay. I would take myself serious. I'm just saying, maybe I'm putting words was, in his mouth. I, I would take myself serious, but it was just like, it was fun. It was just fun to me back then. It was just fun. But he's like, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. Like, you Get they songs yeah, get they and shit songs down, down yeah. and you work. I learned that shit, don't get your uh, beats off YouTube, because I had problems back uh, when I won a show. Like, a lot of my songs, a lot of my beats was off YouTube, and I couldn't perform. Do anything yeah. with it because you didn't own no beats. Right. That's something that, if you could, could you, like, kind of shed some light on, like, the importance of buying beats? Yeah, I mean, you don't even got, I say, I mean, I ain't, because I ain't going to fuck up, I ain't going to fuck up no producer, hustle, whatever. But like really right, like, ain't gonna fuck my, nobody hustle, my like, story like, was what would you recommend for people to do my story was building like planning you know your producer building with them to the ground up and that's what i did what um my producer zay and that's who i forgot to shout out to um zay why you do it to him okay zay why you do it to him he's from easy too actually i think i heard he did some church for zay osama i mean nah. OG Zay baby, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, OG Zay. And he also, OG Zay, right? cause he sang. He also got songs with, with um mulatto. Oh damn, um, yeah, that's dope. Shit, it's a lot of and he his list go on and on. That's but nice. we can get to that later. But yeah, just build with your um with a panel producer, just build with them, round up and shit. You know, royalty splits, all that the producer still don't get paid, but you know, just build with your person. What's some of your musical influences? Like, who, who's some of your musical shit. influences? Like that? Um, I don't know, man. Thug, of course. Shout out to Thug, man. Um, Mary J. Black. Oh, that's a good she one, hard okay? Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of my favorite, fuck. like, all time Mary right Jay there. She shit. can't miss. Um, yeah. Shit, I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to think of I mean, I listen to people, but like, like really, like, really thug. I ain't gonna lie. Really thug. Yeah. Now, what's um? Cause I see you had something on your page that you got coming out with Duke, which is a YSL artist. Oh yeah, um, Big Duke. I see you do a lot with just around with YSL in general. What's what's your affiliation with that? That's my family. They shit. They really took me in. I ain't gonna lie. When I before I even moved out here, they really took me in, and they really like. They all like 
If you ain't on no fuck shit, they gonna fuck with you, like, you know, because they sense that shit, like, they ass real snakes, they ass, like, like, <laughs> so it's for real, the snake pit, like, man, right, it's a snake pit, they gonna sense, they gonna, they gonna really sense that your ass on some fuck shit to be with, but, like, yeah, it's, they, yeah, to me, yeah, it's family, and, um, he, he wanna sign me, I'm gonna sign the kids, so the kids, okay, um, Yeah, it's just family. Key talk to him, boy. Boy, <laughs> I'm gonna call him. <laughs> hey man, he pick up man. He the illest race now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Key talk to him, boy. <laughs> That's gonna be big though. So um, actually, I I wait till he gets on the phone and he does and then I. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Working. Is that always for hip hop? Now, what's some? What do you? What do you feel is gonna help you with signing now? I mean, like, he already. Like, like, what you mean? Like, he already seen like, him signing. I mean, but like, how's it gonna help you though? Oh, like help? Yeah. Shit, like. I don't know. You feel like, like it's gonna elevate your yeah. game. You feel like. That's the right cosign to have to be able to get you where you need to be in the right circles. Of course. Now he first thing he told me when he said, cause I met him, um, I met everybody before he I actually met Key last before everybody. So I met the all them first. When he came to the studio, cause I got a song, um, will be slime with uh yeah, will be slime with whatever. And he was like, uh, Key came to the studio was like Great at the rapping, I'm like, yeah. He's like, you hard as fuck. I'm like, shit, I appreciate you. Like, come on, I'm your phone. I'm like, all right. I'm like, I got. Did you think he was hollering at you? Or? Nah, cause I, I know, like, you, you could tell, like, when somebody, like, really trying to work. Yeah. That's what's up. So he like, shit. Uh, he like, play some shit. I play some shit. He like, yeah, I want to get on this song. And then I ain't hit him up until like two weeks after he gave me his number. I text him. Like, you want to the studio or not? He's like, I'm going to pull that home plug up to my house. So I pulled up uh, with my producer, Zay, and shit, we got like five songs in. And he's like, well, he plays some music, I play some music and shit. And then we got like five songs in after it. And he's like, I want to sing. I'm like, shit, let's do it. Damn, just off the five songs? Hey, well, well, that we did? Yeah. Yeah, but before we even did the songs, though, he told me he wanted to sing. When he you heard my shit, yeah. Okay. He's like, you got some bits. Like, I want to sing. I'm like, shit, yeah, let's do it. And he like, uh, just put me down my game. First thing he told me was like, shit, make sure you get a lawyer. Like, out of all the people that said they wanted to the family, they ain't never say like, get you a little, get you your own. That's real shit, yeah. man. Shout out to him for that, man. Because so a lot of people not even gonna look out for your best interest. And that's what I told him too. They may feel like you just an uh, easy come up for them to get some money. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And play you. No, I'm down on game though. anyway. I already know right. stuff like that. I already know just being on the show and like just being, you know, around the industry and stuff. But yeah, that's the first that I fucked with him for that. And I told him, like, yeah, you the first person that really, like, all right, get your own lawyer. Like, your, your own lawyer. I'm going to get my lawyer, you know, all that. So, shit. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to sign him. Because I want to sound somebody that's like family. Because if you sign a big label, I mean, you can do that, whatever. But they can drop your ass the next day. If you build a family with somebody, they don't want to help you. They don't want to make sure like you get your hits in. They don't want to make sure you keep working. You're doing it the right way. For sure. And you know, I think that's a that's a good fit. You know what I'm saying for a female artist because it's a lot of powerhouses over there, but they don't have that female right coming and bringing that same. You know what I'm saying? Pain, I'm that it same down. fear in the game. You know what I'm saying? I, that'd be dope to see you keep gonna up like all these different names you know sure. what i'm saying and you be that one female mc too make sure you don't something now um, um, yeah. i don't want to say the name wrong and then they be like fuck you for saying the name wrong. Nah, that's um, 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 damn. Um, damn. now what the what that mean hey you gotta ask him you gotta interview him i need to know um, um, and I'm saying it wrong, you, you need to tell me hey bro don't say my name like that nah, he, a real, so he the reason why i moved out here Oh, for real? That's, yeah, that's Slam, bro. That's Thug, brother. Oh, damn. That's Thug's brother? Yeah. 
Oh, that's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Because when I moved down here, he like, because when I was back and forth, he like, shit, how long did I been? I'm like, shit, a week. He like, nah, you got to move your ass down here. You got to be around. So I'm like, shit, fuck it. I'm going to just move here. Now, how did you gain them blessings with him? Like I said, she should be coming. I ain't gonna laugh. I don't know. I'm cute or what, but nah. <laughs> so you, nah, so she, is it safe to say you, you'll use your looks to get where you need to go? Yeah, I mean, not in no bad way, yeah, but like you know, what I'm saying if you see a person, that's but them like with them, I ain't use my looks. It's just I'm just hard as fuck. But well, I was just going off what you just said. You know what I'm saying? With the whole cute thing, I'm trying to figure out like how you meeting she, all these. Mm-hmm. Good people that's willing to like help you like that. It's a thousand. Cause they know I'm my heart is pure. Like I know, I just they just know. It's the energy I bring out. Like that's what's up. That's the know, type of answers you know, we looking for shit. over here. While I'm talking, you know what I'm saying? You said your name is unique. You gotta show us how you unique. You feel? Yeah. I appreciate I this type of shit you. from you, man. So like, if you could give yourself ten years ago some advice today. What would it be? Ten years ago? Yeah. You yeah. ten years uh, ago. You sure? Ten? Yeah, a little young you. Let's do five. Five, you wanna do five? Because like ten years ago. It like, mean, it I wanna listen. More. Okay. I wanna listen. You know you're young. Yeah. It's yeah. Let's go five up. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go five. Cause you know I'm I'm young too. You just said twenty three, right? Yeah, twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah, twenty three. Yeah, twenty three. Yeah, and I don't even know what I was doing five years ago. Um, you said you wasn't bad in EC, so yeah, I was so telling myself. Was, and JJC for some shit or something. I mean, of course, I used to like fight and stuff, but. Oh, that's bad! <laughs> but not, you know, B, you asked me earlier, you asked me, like, if you basically asked me if I'm like, I don't say a little, a little thug. Yeah. A little thug, G, from the EC. Said. Cause we don't know too many people from EC, you know what I'm saying? We interview OG Tay Baby, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he told his story, but you're one of the first females that's actually on the platform, let alone the first female we ever met right. in EC. So we're just trying to get that female perspective and see how the how the game is for the ladies out there, you know what I'm saying? There might be some females in our city that or around the world that can relate to EC, right? Or just your upcoming in EC. Wait, five years ago, I was telling myself, good job. Kiss myself on forehead, you're doing good, keep you got some shit coming in the future. <laughs> like that, yeah. Just wait five years. Yeah, that's, that's what I was telling myself. That's what's so. How important is, is investing in yourself to you? Like, it's different ways to invest in, like, what you mean? Like, all aspects? Or, like, what you mean? In a way, all aspects, but you know, you got some artists that take their time with dropping. They feel like certain things are supposed to land in their lap because they feel like their talent is just. Oh, no, I so don't get it. Okay, ain't shit gonna follow your lap, literally. Right, because see, I want people to take from your interview, like, how you actually grind it to get Right, yeah, I ain't shit just literally follow my lap. We can play all day and be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it just happened for me like that, but people need to know, like, you actually have to get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You have to get the doors shut on you. I record myself. Um, shit, like, I record, I used to record every day. Now, you know, I just still do, but I just Just tell the whole podcast that you just oh. got dumped like that. It was just so that means I told you, you I'm here. I'm you I know I care. Like I'm a, I'm a, you know. If now he see this and he just see how you acted to you, him dumping you, he probably put some emotion behind dumping you, and you just like I got dumped. Now you ask me, and see that's probably my problem. Now that's how I got dumped. See, yeah, you probably play too much. <laughs> no, I don't play too much. Though. I be dead ass. I'm a sad so sometimes I get. So, sometimes we get like emotional and stuff, but yeah, I got done. Damn, how long were y'all together? 
Um, it's crazy. I moved out here. When I moved out here, no, when I visited out here, I made him. Then when I moved out here, that's when he started dating. No. So I look down. I'm gonna tell you how we met. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell you how we met. So um, we came down here for um, Jane's birthday, right? When I, you know, my people. Um, it was a bunch of us. We met up with Zay. Why you do it to him? At his house, yeah, okay, okay. at his house, and um, well, I don't think I'm supposed to be. Come on, now, wait. I'm, I'm just saying, I ain't gonna long, say his name. Damn, though, <laughs> I talk too much. Yeah, long story short, that's when I first happened. seen him, I saw him like, You know, my boyfriend, I ain't know his name or nothing. I walked in, they're like, Damn, you handsome, like, you know, my boyfriend. That's so that's how you come in. That, the ladies, but no, that I ain't gonna push up on every nigga like that. I ain't never did that. So it was just something about it was the bad. Okay, I'm okay. all about energy. And damn, and then he dumped you. See, I used to hear these type of stories. No, like, it ain't no like like it's fresh though. It's fresh, yeah. fucked up. One on one. So is it? <laughs> you know we. So is it is it possibilities for y'all to be able to mend this? Of course. Okay. Okay. Of course. So you can't get on this podcast and make it like, oh, I'm just out here dumped. All right, you can't have people under that impression. And you should have told me when I told the people earlier to buy you a drink in the club that you got up, man. Can we buy you drinks? Who can't? They can't. I tell you, I got them. Okay. But now, yeah. though, hey, um, what you just say now? You this. said, don't be acting like you just out here getting dumped. No, like. Yeah, so you can't just make it like you just Ain't nobody like just saying, Coda, just fuck Coda. Because I told you. I'm, I'm one, sure my, I'm one guy. I had a logical explanation on why he had to cut ties. I probably should have said that though, ain't it? You probably, you probably, you know what I'm saying? He probably didn't want you to tell the people that, you know what I'm saying? He dumped you. But that might be the way that y'all get back together. You texting him right now? Mm -mm. I'm gonna say, you finna tell him that you just said it in the interview before the interview? I probably should have, ain't it? Let me see. There you go. You wanna call him right now? No, I'm not you should call, call him. Call him. Mm -hmm. Call him. Call him. You should call him. You should get him on the phone and be like, look, I don't know where we went wrong, but let's make it right. Right here in the middle of my interview. Come on, that'll be internet shit right there. The internet need to see that. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> you hear the wrong shit, you gonna be mad to sell that loud talk TV. Woo! Hey, you gonna see it. <laughs> so on to the next questions. So I was gonna ask, what's next for you? Like, what's the next move? Yeah, what's the next move? What you got planned? What you got? What you? What, what should we look forward to? Um, me dropping in, being more consistent. Um, on the label key. What's the single that you're pushing right now? Because um, I need the people to know. It's Wishes, produced by Spider. That's one of my producers. Shout out to Spider. And y'all go stream that Wishes right now on every platform, right? Every platform. I mean, every single one of them. Mm -hmm. What was, you did have a song that got leaked and shit too. Right? Oh, yeah. Um, well, what you want to say to them folks that leaked your song? Y'all be on some fuck shit, man. Y'all be on some fuck shit. <laughs> Yeah, but like, how do you handle situations like that with like just getting your music? Cause you, I know you fresh in the game, right? And at the point that you're at right now, you can't really afford for a person to be fucking with your craft like that. I mean, at no point can you afford for a person to just leak your music. But like, you don't want people leaking your music before you can properly promote it and put it out like you want to. Right. So how do you deal with something like that? She just re keep recording. Does that make it where you have to put that song out? Like, just go ahead and put it out? No. You can still sit on it and still yeah, pop it. Yeah, of course. You can release it how you want to. got all of it. They okay. don't know who on there. They don't know nothing. Okay. Yeah, you know. See, that's what, that's another thing I want to know. I'm going to keep like, the corn. That ain't the only song. That's not right. the only one? No, I'm saying that ain't the only song I got. So oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm okay. No, that's good then. But yeah, before we get out of here, I need you to let everybody know that's watching. How they can follow you. 
where to get in contact with you. And if they want to get a feature or if they want to send you some beats, some merch, anything like that, where to do that at? Um, so y'all can follow me at Dakota underscore unique um, everywhere. And then as far as taking beats, I, don't, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't even take beats no more from nobody. Stop playing. Stop playing <laughs> I, got my own, I got my own producers. I got um, my main producers is uh, um, Zay Where You Do It To Him, Spider, Spider Beats, um, Los the Producer. Don't forget a producer because you um, already just I'm made it clear. Them, them really my, them really yeah. my main ones. Okay. Really just main niggas. Yeah, just them three. Okay. And they, I like my shit from like, from like, they make it, they stop me. I don't really like. Like people just trying yeah, to just, just send, send you something. Yeah. And you got to come. But we didn't send in the studio. Somebody pull a beat up, I'd be like, damn, I got that same beat in my email. And that's like, yeah, I got that same beat too. Um, mm. I need my own beat. Yeah. Well, before we get all the way out of here, I need y'all to do a couple things for me as well. I need y'all to go to Facebook, follow us at Loud Talk TV. I need you to go to Instagram, follow us at Loud Talk TV. I need you to go to Twitter, follow us at Loud Talk TV One. And if you want to see this interview right here and the interviews that we already got out and everything that we got coming for y'all, I need y'all to go to YouTube, hit the bell notification. It's official, Loud Talk TV. Official, subscribe to shit, y'all. Loud Talk TV. Y'all heard the lady. Subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Go tell a friend. Come right back and tune your ass in. It's been one. Yeah. <laughs>